kindly name your pick. <laughs> what? What? Guys, I've been screaming on top of my lungs since the last two, three, four minutes. Cause what in the name of twist did Big Brother just do? What in the name of game did Big Brother just play to this housemate? Guys, make sure that you watch this video from here to the end so you don't miss out on what I'm talking about. Cause today, Big Brother just scattered everything we think or we thought we knew about how the head of house game is played and all the responsibilities of the head of house, all the wins, everything that comes with being the head of house, Big Brother just shattered all of them. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you on how this housemate played the game of the head of house, who emerged the winner, and what Big Brother tasked the head of house to do. I welcome you to today's video. My name is Shrix, and this is Powerhouse of Positivity. <laughs> So guys, Big Brother just pulled another trick out of his bag of tricks and I am liking this. I love this new development. What am I saying? We are already familiar with the head of house game where all the housemates for each season come to the arena, fight it out, play it out in a game of strength or a game of mentality to emerge the winner for that week's head of house. But for this season, Big Brother has switched everything up. We no longer have head of house games. Until Big Brother says otherwise, we're no more gonna be playing the head of house game. Now at now, from now till Big Brother says otherwise, we're going to be having head of house ballot. Yes, you heard it right. Head of house ballot. And as a Nigerian, I will say this is the closest we came to free fair election. This is the closest we've come to an election where the process runs smoothly, the ballot paper, nobody takes it everything your vote counts so we rather ask this housemate to get ready and move to the lounge area and this housemate we are all sat in their pairs everybody was talking one after the other big brother called them into the arena this is the new rules for the head of house ballot so inside the arena big brother has already sent out a ballot a 14 ballot paper and 14 tiles so whenever big brother calls any pair into the arena what they have to do is take one of the tiles write a name of any housemate they would like to bestow the honor of the head of house right this is a game changer no more fighting no more thinking no more strategizing about the game now you have to be bestowed the honor of the head of house so if you are that type of person that wants to play one man game just know that the head of house you are not gonna be smelling it because for you to be bestowed you have to be able to have conversation mingle with everybody for them to see you as a worthy leader without further ado i'll tell you in details how this housemate casted their vote in no particular order so in no particular order these are how the housemate casted their vote and made their vote count first on my list is nelita nelita casted their vote for streets next on the list is better better pair casted their vote for checkers next on my list is wani and handy guys Let's talk about Wani and Handy calling out Big Brother for pronouncing their name. You see, these two housemates, for now, they are my favorite because they are not afraid to call anybody's bullshit out. They are not afraid to speak their mind and they are not afraid to play this game. They promised us chaos and they've been delivering on what they promised. And it's not even one whole full day. So guys, I will be anticipating to see how they will play this game till the day they leave this house. So for Wani and Handy, they casted their vote for Shatoria. For S, S is casted their vote for the Radicals. Zimwe casted their vote for, for Flourish. Shatoria casted their vote for Wani and Handi. Dimbadiwe Twins casted their vote for Zimwe. Tami casted their vote for Beta. Radical casted their vote for Double K. Ndine casted their vote for Mbadiwe Twins. The Streets casted their vote for Nelita. Flourish casted their vote for Mbadiwe Twins, making a total of Mbadiwe Twins vote 2. So, as of now, they we are in the lead. Shekas casted their vote for Tami. The last pair to cast their vote will either decide who will win or cause a tie. And guys, a tie they cost. The next and final pair to vote are the double K, the Kesia and Kiriri pair. So they came in and casted their vote for the radical. And guys, causing that tie is where the game changed. Remember 
Yeah, on Sunday, when Big Brother played the custodian role and told the custodian of Nne and Shinne that they have the power to influence the game for today, guys. Now we know what that power of influence is all about. So after counting the vote, Big Brother made it known to them that in an in a way, if at the end of the voting, if at the end of the voting process, the result comes out as a tie, that the custodian, which are Ndine, has the power to choose who they will bestow the honor of head of house. So after the voting process ended, we were met with a tie. Radicals to vote, Mbadiwe twins to vote. And with that, Big Brother now brought in the custodian game. The custodians were now able to influence how the head of house game is going to play out. Now, remember, yesterday when they won the custodian, Big Brother told them that they have the power of influence. We don't know to what extent they were going to influence the game. But today, Big Brother made our heart calm down. They only have the influence, they only have the power to influence the head of house. If and when the voting comes to a tie, and today, the voting came to a tie, like I said earlier, Radicals got two votes, Mbadiwe Twins got two votes. And it was time for the Ndin Nepe to come up, strategize, and choose whom they will bestow the honor of head of house. And guys, I have to say, I felt for the Ndin Netwins because during their strategy, when they were strategizing on whom to choose, they've already voted for the Mbadiwe Twins. And according to the conversation they were having, that the Mbadiwe Twins we are not closer to them. We are not talking to them until they won the custodian challenge. So then Badiwe Twins started coming closer to them. Played the game, manipulated them into choosing them, thinking that they were forming an alliance only for them Badiwe Twins to end up not voting them. And guys, the pressure was getting to them. The reason is because after the whole voting process, they didn't even get a single vote. One single person didn't vote for the Ndine. So with that, I think the pressure is, uh, is coming to them and they are feeling it. But at the end of the day, this is a game. They've already promised to switch up on the housemates. That is what they said. But after, the, after much deliberation, they ended up choosing the Mbadiwe twins. So guys, hooray! We have our first ever head of house for the Big Brother Niger season 9. And they are no other than the Mbadiwe twins. So a very big shout out to them and Shout out to also the Ndine Twins. Guys, this is where the shocker is now. Let me break your bubbles. This is where Big Brother shocked me, you, if you hear what Big Brother said, and the housemate. We already know whenever you win the head of house, there is this power you feel when you are the winner of the head of house. Because you know, you are safe from anything. No going home, no nomination. You will be calm. Why? Because you have the power of the head of house. But you see this season, Big Brother cancelled everything. Big Brother disbanded everything. No more immunity for the head of house. No more power of save and replace for the head of house until Big Brother says otherwise. So, what this means is if you win the head of house and you are nominated, there is a 50-50 chance of you going home as the head of house. Guys, tell me, has that ever happened in any season of Big Brother? Tell me where it has ever happened. So, this new twist that Big Brother came up with, yo, and my head is just, I'm trying to wrap my head around it. Because how are you going to tell your people that you left or that you were evicted as the incumbent head of house that's not the only thing guys that's not the only thing they want as the head of house as the head of house they have the privilege to visit the head of house condo they also have the privilege to coordinate tasks and make sure that the housemates and everything is run smoothly now to console them for taking away the head of the immunity and uh, their save and replace power Big Brother now gave them the power to suggest. <laughs> Big Brother gave them the power to suggest punishment for any minor infringement the other housemates come up with during their stay and during when they are head of house. So, guys, tell me if you are not shocked. Because as I'm talking to you now, 
I am shocked, but I am liking it. You see this new development? I am liking this new development. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comment section. Remember, if this is your first time coming across my channel, my name is Shooks, and this is Powerhouse of Positivity. Subscribe, like this video, let me know what your thoughts are, and I will appreciate that. Hope to see you guys on the next video.